Hi guys, so it's April, as you can tell. Um, in my onesie, I'm at Bruce's flat. He's gone out for a bit with one of his mates, so I thought I'd make a video. I've just had a shower, so my hair looks awful, and that's why I've got the hood up on my onesie, to make my hair look a little less rubbishy, hide the terribleness. Um, <laughs> sorry, I look terrible. Got no makeup on as well, because obviously, just got out of the shower, practically. So anyway, I thought I'd make a video. I didn't know what to do, so I thought I'd do a story time, okay? Um, it's not a very interesting story, but it's it's just a little cute little daft story that I thought I'd share with you guys. So anyway, if, you're, if you've been with my channel quite a long time, like since practically the start, then you'll remember the failed delivery series where like there was two um, videos to it where I tried to deliver, get some food ordered and it went a bit wrong. Well, I thought I'd do a part three, I'll, or part four, whichever was the last one, the follow up one, because recently I tried to order food and it didn't go to plan. <laughs> right, so we all know about the app Just Eat, don't we? It's like this app that you can get on your phone and stuff and it tells you all the takeaways near you, all takeaway food places and you can order from the menu and pay online and they'll deliver it so you don't have to ring up. It's great if you don't like talking to people on the phone because you don't have to talk to anyone <laughs> apart from when the delivery guy comes. So anyway, um, yeah, at this point I'd used it a few times and it'd been fine so I don't know why this happened at all. I don't understand it but anyway. So I made a new friend because I decided I need new friends. I spoke to someone at the bus stop <laughs> and started talking to her. And then a few days later, I was like, hey, wanna hang out? Um, I'm gonna call her, what shall I call her for the video? <laughs> Let's call her Melissa. So, Melissa, that's quite a long name. Let's call her Millie because I've been watching a lot of doll Dollhouse recently. So, Melly, right. So, um, I invited Melly over to my um, flat kind of thing a few days after, you know, my uni accommodation for a few drinks. Well, originally we went at bar and then I was like, do you wanna come back for a few drinks? I've got, I've got wine. So she was like, yeah. So we went back, had a few drinks. And then by that time, it was like 10 o'clock and neither of us had had tea. So I was like, it's getting a bit late to be cooking and stuff. Also, we've had a drink. Why don't we order takeaway? So she was all up for that. Just a nice cheap takeaway. So we went on Just Eat because we didn't have a lot of money. So we couldn't do like Domino's or out. So we went on the Just Eat app, chose what we wanted from a pizza place. Um, I'm not gonna keep repeating the word pizza place for the entire time. Let's call it Crown Pizzas. Right. So, Crown Pizzas. So, we clicked on Crown Pizzas, chose what we both wanted, and I just clicked on my name, put my thumbprint on so I could pay by Apple Pay so I don't have to pay when it gets there. And done. Didn't think anything of it. It's always worked fine in the past. Didn't realise the mistake that had happened. I think Just Eat gets you details from like your contacts, but I didn't realize this, but even so, it's worked fine before, so I don't understand why it had changed the things in my contacts, I don't know. I'd never changed it, so I don't know. But my contacts, for me, you know, you have your own contact section with your own name and iPhones. Um, it had my name and it had my mobile number as well as my home phone number. Obviously I'm not at home, so it'd be pointless in them in that phone number being used, but it's never used that phone number. It's always used my foot my mobile number. It's always been okay. Didn't expect that it would use my home phone number for some reason. So we thought everything was fine. It got to the time that pizza was supposed to have arri arrived. And suddenly I get a phone call off my dad saying, have you ordered a takeaway? Now at the time I was trying to lose weight, I still am. 
Um, so I, did, I was a bit embarrassed. I didn't want to tell my parents I'd had a takeaway because they also wanted me to lose weight. So I said no. Um, and they said, are you sure? So I said, yeah, I'm just hit. Uh, I said, no, I'm, yeah, I'm just eating soup up right now. Soup, I don't know why I said soup, but soup came to mind. I was heating up soup. So obviously, thanks just eat, you made me out to be a liar. <laughs> well. I came up with the lie, so technically my parents think I'm a liar now because of me. So anyway, um, there was a lot of back and forth between me and my parents of, are you sure you haven't ordered a takeaway? No, I'm sure I haven't. Um, and they started saying, are you sure you've not ordered an Indian takeaway? And I'm like, I'm pretty sure, and I thought in my head, I definitely haven't ordered Indian, I definitely ordered pizza. So then eventually I gave in and said, I'm with a friend and she ordered pizza. So they said to this guy, are you sure it's not pizza? And he said, yeah, I've been saying to you for like an hour, it's pizza. So my parents are very helpful when it comes when it comes to communication, clearly. Um, so we were like, okay. So we went to the guy, we went to like the reception area to see where the guy was with the pizza. He, we found him and he said he'd been listening to the entire conversation of me my mum and my dad talking about how I was saying that I had never ordered pizza. So I looked like a right wally. We took the pizza back. We enjoyed it. It was good food. Well, goodish. This is as good as it's gonna get really for cheap pizza. <laughs> um, so that was fine. Bit embarrassing. Oh well. About a week passes and I'm a bit hungry, so I messaged a different friend, let's call her Vicky. So I, re I messaged Vicky and I'm like, hey, are you hungry? And she's like, L little bit, why? And I was like, how does pizza and a film sound? So she was like, yeah, I'll be at yours in about five minutes. So I was like, great. So, five minutes later, met her at the door, let her in. We sat down, chose a film, and then ordered food. See when this is going. So, I'd already told her this story up to now. So, um, we ordered food. We went to order food and everything. And then just as I put my fingerprint on the fingerprint thing on my phone for Apple Pay, I realized that it still had my home phone number on it. So I was shocked. And I was like, oh my God this isn't gonna go down well, they're gonna ring my mum. But like I'd already paid, so I was like, not really much I can do. So I rang up the pizza place, same pizza place as the last time, whatever I called it. And I rang up and said, hi, I put down the wrong number. And the guy went straight away, went, is this April? And I'm like, yeah. And he's just like, Yes, yeah, so I remember you from last time. Put your mum and dad's phone number down again. I'm like, oh my God, he has remembered me and he's remembered my area code. <laughs> Otherwise, how would he know that that's, you know, he'll recognize the area code. So I don't actually live majorly far from the uni. So I'm like, great, wonderful, fantastic. Can't get any better than that, can you? So he said, yeah, if, is this your mobile number? And I said, that you're calling on and I said yes. So he said, okay, I'll I'll get it delivered and ring you on this phone number instead. <laughs> and that's about it, we got the pizza, it was fine. <laughs> I know this wasn't much of a story, like, but what do you expect? <laughs> um but I still think it was it's a little bit of a daft little anecdote to have a bit of a giggle at. I found it funny. You don't have to find it funny if you don't want to. Just poke myself in the eye. Don't I look fat? So that's it. Um, the weekend vlog will be uploaded on Monday. I'm sorry, that's not a weekday vlog. I've been busy with essays and stuff. So this should be a weekday vlog, like next Saturday being uploaded. If you want more story times, comment down below. And I'm thinking about doing some conspiracy theory videos and Mandela Effect videos again. 
I was thinking about doing a conspiracy theory slash Mandela Effect video all in one video for Easter, an Easter themed one. So if you'd like that, then press like on the video and share the video. Because if the video gets to five likes, then I'll do that. But it's gotta get to five likes within a week, so by next Saturday. So yeah, so please do that. Obviously sharing will really help to get five to five likes. Usually I don't get any more than one like on a video. So it's not a case of, oh, she'll get to five likes. It's a case of, please help. I am begging for subscribers at this point, please. And if, you can, if we can get to eight likes, I'll upload another story time video because I'm not very good at stories. So eight likes will give me time to think of something. Thank you very much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe, comment. Thank you very much and goodbye.